What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I am at the Flight 93 Memorial here in Union City, California. Uh, for what I was reading, this memorial was dedicated on December 8th, 2007. And from what I understand, Union City is the first city in the United States to erect a nine, Flight 93 Memorial. And when you first walk in, there's three center stones here, or three stones on the side here. Um, one is the story of the heroes of Flight 93. And it just talks, talks about the events of September 11th, 2001. Um, and the, the second stone is the story of the memorial. And then the third stone are, is basically the, the donors and sponsors of this project. So... Let's see here. The events of September 11th, 2001 are forever etched into the hearts of the family members and loved ones of those who died, the nation and the world. The United States experienced the worst incident of terrorism in its history, the coordinated hijacking of four commercial airliners, the planned attack on symbolic targets, and the murder of innocent people were all tragic and shocking events. The extraordinary responses of individuals to the challenges they faced are inspiring and worthy of remembrance. On that day, Two airliners were deliberately flown into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. New York, a third plane was hijacked and flown into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. The fourth plane, United Airlines Flight 93, was delayed in its scheduled departure for Newark, New Jersey, en route to San Francisco, California. About 45 minutes into the flight, as the Boeing 757 was nearing Cleveland, Ohio, it abruptly changed course, heading southeast into the direction of Washington, D.C., Shortly before 10 a.m., it was observed flying low and erratically over southwestern Pennsylvania. At 10 to 3 a.m., the plane crashed at a cruising speed estimated at more than 500 miles per hour into the, a reclaimed strip mine at the edge of a wooded area in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. Emergency responders arriving at the scene minutes after the crash found no survivors. All 33 passengers, seven crew, and four terrorist hijackers were killed. In the hours and days that followed, an astonishing story about what happened on board Flight 93 was revealed. When the terrorists took over the plane, passengers and crew were able to telephone family members, friends, and emergency dispatchers to report the hijacking throughout these conversations. Those on board Flight 93 learned about the horrific events unfolding at the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. As their phone conversation revealed, the passengers and crew of Flight 93 realized that their plane was also part of the planned attack. This realization led to a collective decision by the passengers and crew to stop the terrorists from achieving their goal of crashing another plane in, into American landmarks. The story of the heroic actions of the passengers and crew of Flight 93 later was confirmed when the contents of the many telephone conversations and the cockpit voice recorder were re reviewed. Although the details of what took place on board this flight will never be fully known, all 40 of the passengers and crew are universally recognized as heroes. That's a mouthful, but that was an awesome, awesome story. And this one is the story of the Flight 93 Memorial. It says, The tragic events on the morning of September 11th, 2001 will forever shape world events of the 21st century. The events of that day are close to the hearts of all the United States citizens and many of our friends around the world. In particular, United Airlines Flight 93 bound for San Francisco, California has special significance for those of us in the Bay Area where many of the heroes lived, worked, or were traveling to that day. The individual lives on Flight 93 upon closed inspection reveal lives of richness and honor. A collaborative effort and individual life stories have forever elevated the crew and passengers of Flight 93 into the consciousness and history of the United States of America. Heroism, family, love, strength, and lives of deep meaning were revealed on Flight 93. This memorial offers a space for feelings of remembrance, for loved ones lost, and thoughts of a positive hope for the future. There is an individual stone representing each passenger and crew member lost on Flight 93, accompanied by a mirror to inspire thought and reflection. The memorial encompasses several elements to help visitors remember the ultimate price each hero paid to save the lives of countless others. The stones stand together flowing in unity with one uh, another and in relation to the path indicating one's life path, ever changing with direction and transition. The back and edges of the remembrance stones have been left rough, hewn, signifying unfinished lives. The remembrance stones begin at A Plaza of Remembrance, expressing strength, 
life and rebirth, the stones flow to the Plaza of Hope, where visions of the future are expressed. This memorial was built through the efforts of the city of Union City, the heroes' families, local and national businesses, local trade and labor unions, and caring individuals. Our hope is that everyone who visits this memorial will reflect, be inspired, and healed by the honorable, heroic lives and actions of the crew and passengers of United Flight 93. And there is a little flag at the bottom with a 93 on it. And this stone right here is pretty much just, a, just the sponsors and donors of this project. There's a ton of them, just local businesses out here. Um, but uh, let's get on to uh, the stones of the uh, people on board. Alrighty. There's a whole path of stones here. This is awesome. I've driven by it a million times. I've never been. Edward P. Felt, 41, Matawan, New Jersey. Colleen Fraser, 51, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Andrew Sonny Garcia, 62, Portola Valley, California. Waleska Martinez, 37, New Jersey City, New Jersey, 37. Hilda Marson, 79, Mount Olive, New Jersey. Nicole C. Miller, 21, San Jose, California. Louis J. Knack, the second, 42, New Pope, Pennsylvania. New Hope, excuse me, Pennsylvania. Christian Adams, 37, Bebelsheim, Germany. Mark Rothenberg, 52, Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Christine Snyder, 32, Kalua, Hawaii. Sandra Bradshaw, 38, Greensboro, North Carolina. Lorraine G. Bay, 58, East Windsor, New Jersey. Leroy Homer, 36, Marlton, New Jersey. Jason M. Dahl, 43, Littleton, Colorado. C.C. Lyles, 33, Fort Pierce, Florida. Wanda A. Green, 49, Oakland, California. Gerald Mark Bingham, 31, San Francisco, California. Toshia Kuj, 20, Osaka, Japan. Honor E. Win Wayne Eo, 27, Baltimore, Maryland. Todd Beamer, 32, Cranberry, New Jersey. Donald A. Peterson, 66, Spring Valley, New Jersey. Jean Hoadley Peterson, 55, Spring Lake, New Jersey. John Talegiani, 74, Staten Island. Kristen White Gould, 65, New York City, New York. Uh, Lauren Grand Colas, an unborn child, 38, San Rafael, California. Joseph DeLuca, 52, Sixawana, New Jersey. Linda Gronlund, 50, 46, Greenwood Lake, New Jersey. Richard Gua Guadango, 38, Eureka, California. Donald F. Green, 52, Greenwich, Connecticut. Greenwich, excuse me, however you might pronounce that. Jeremy Glick, 31, Hewitt, New Jersey. Georgine R. Corrigan, 55, Honolulu, Hawaii. 
Marion R. Britton, 53, Brooklyn, New York. Dora F. Bodley, 20, San Diego, California. Thomas E. Burnett Jr., 38, Bloomington, Minnesota. Jane Folger, 73, Bayonne, New Jersey. Patricia Cushing, 69, Bayonne, New Jersey. Patrick J. Driscoll, 70, Manapolan, New Jersey. William J. Cashman, 60, West New York, New Jersey. Deborah A. Welsh, 49, New York City, New York. Alan A. Beaven, 48, Oakland, California. Man, at the end of the path here, there's a beautiful flag. And at the base of the flag, there's a bunch of beautiful tiles here. Some of the tiles say spread the love, peace. Some of them just have pictures. It looks like of the local school kids. It's like probably did these drawings and paintings. This is truly beautiful. I know when I was reading some of the last names or some of the, the you know, you know, you know, intricate last names, I probably messed up with some of those, but did the best I could. Sometimes I'm bad at pronouncing names. But this uh, memorial here is just beautiful. And I finally pulled over the car and came to look at it. Just because I never have. Oh, man. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping by reading everyone's name on flight 93 on the stones here keeping their memory alive because these people are true heroes the passengers and crew of flight 93 thank you all so much and i'll talk to you later